Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you some different ways to use your boost pedal. Hey guys, Matt here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So in this video, I'm going to show you some various ways you can use your boost pedal within your rig to achieve different results. Today, I'm using my exotic EP booster along with my Victory V30 Countess and my PRS Custom 24 for this demo. So to start with, let's talk about some of the reasons why we might use a boost pedal. And I guess the most obvious reason is to make yourself louder. So we might use it in front of a clean amp to boost the level. We might use it in conjunction with an overdrive to either get a heavier rhythm tone or perhaps a solo boost. But we may even use it as an always on pedal to add some extra juice to the amp. But a common misconception is that a boost pedal will always just make you louder. But that's not always the case when you're running it with overdrives. So in this video, I'm gonna help demonstrate the differences that you'll get depending on where you place your boost pedal in relation to your overdrives. Okay, so I've got my pedals hooked up to my G2 gig rig and I've set up some different patches with and without the boost so we can compare the differences. So for the first option, I'm using the clean channel on my Victory V30 Countess without the boost. And next to that, uh, I can switch over to the clean channel but with the boost running into the amplifier. So I'll start off with the clean channel first with, uh, with no boost. I've just got my reverb and delay, uh, but there's no boost with this first of all. With the boost. So we can hear there, when I engage the boost, we're getting that increase in volume. It's also worth pointing out that you need enough headroom in your amp if you're after a volume boost from your boost pedal. So what we mean by headroom is that amount of room that you've got in your clean sound before it starts to compress or break up. So if you've got a small amp that's say rated at 15 watts, that's gonna break up sooner than an amplifier rated at 100 watts. So the 15 watt amp has got less headroom and all a boost is gonna do is it's just gonna drive the front end of that amp and make it clip further because it's already compressing. So you're not actually gonna get any more level out of it necessarily. You're just gonna be pushing those, those valves a little bit harder. And we'll see an example of that when we introduce an overdrive into the mix. So let's move on to that next. So for this example, I'm going to use my Angry Charlie overdrive with the EP booster placed after the overdrive. And what we'll get here is an increase in volume, so the guitar signal is going into the overdrive, and from there, that clipping signal is being boosted by the EP booster. So here's my guitar with just the overdrive. And here's my guitar with the boost after the overdrive. So we can hear there from that example, if you place your boost after the overdrive, you're gonna get that level increase, which is perfect if you wanna boost your overall level for things like solos, uh, especially when you're in a band and you wanna cut through the mix a little bit more and bring that level up. Place your boost after the overdrive and that's the result you're gonna get. So let's see what happens when we place the boost in front of the overdrive with the Angry Charlie. So here's the Angry Charlie again without the boost.
So what's happening now is that booster is just driving that already clipping sound of the overdrive. So because the booster is going into an already clipped overdrive, there's no more headroom to boost the volume further. So all you're gonna get is just extra gain. So it's almost like gain stacking. So the thing to remember when you're using a boost pedal in relation to an overdrive, if you want your overdrive sound to get louder, place the boost after your overdrive pedal. If you want to just get a little bit more gain out of your overdrive pedal and not increase the volume, then place your boost in front of the overdrive. In this instance though, you may want to take out some of the gain of your overdrive uh, before running the boost into that overdrive. Otherwise, it might just sound a little bit mushy and you may not cut through the mix of the band if you've already got your gain on the overdrive pedal uh, sort of fairly dimed. So this leads nicely into using the overdrive of the amplifier. As we've discovered in the last example, running a boost into an overdrive just pushes that gain further and doesn't actually get any louder. But what if we want to boost the volume of our overdrive channel on the amplifier? Well, this is where the effects loop comes into it. So an effects loop is an insert between the preamp and the power amp stage of your amplifier. I'll put a diagram on the screen so we can get an idea of how an effects loop works. So your guitar signal runs into the front of the amp. The signal then runs through the preamp stage, which is where we get our EQ and the gain stage of the amp. Then the signal will come out of the effects loop send into any pedals you want to have in the effects loop, then back into the return of the amp and then into the power section of the amp, which is the last stage where all the volume comes from. This is also where a lot of guitarists place their delay and reverbs when placing time-based effects after the overdrive section of the amp. So what we need to do is place the boost in the effects loop of the amp so it's positioned after the preamp stage of the amplifier. So here's my amp overdrive without the boost. And here's with the boost in the loop. So instantly we can hear there we get that level boost just like we did when I placed the boost after the Angry Charlie in the earlier example. So let's now hear the boost going into the front of the amp's overdrive. So here it is again without the boost. So again, like the previous example where we had the boost before the Angry Charlie, running a boost into uh, the front of your overdrive sound uh, on the amplifier is just going to give you more gain and more saturation, but not uh, a level boost, which is great if you just want to get more gain and sort of more sustain on the notes, uh, if that's what you're after, as opposed to a volume increase. Uh, but as I say, if you're after a volume increase, then you need that boost in the effects loop of the amp. Well, there we have it. Some different options there for using a boost pedal within your guitar rig. And hopefully there were some useful tips there to help you on your quest to find the sounds that you're after. If you found this video useful, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you hit the bell icon, then you'll get notifications on any future videos. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Matt Mallory and I'll see you in the next video.